It's even got a smart sucking function. That right? sounds like a weird thing to yeah, say. It's a, but it sucks harder. Oh, it sucks harder. It I sucks see. harder. Okay. Yes, I shouldn't be saying that so often. Many years ago, when I was in NS, got my first extra because of this guy. What? What? What do you mean? Because I was in my car, right? Uh -huh. Listening to your joke before I was supposed to book in. Then you hang the joke. Say, <laughs> we'll be right back after this music. After I hear the finish of the joke, I go get an extra. Wow. But it was worth it. Wow. I, 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 I didn't even know who you were then. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did know, you did know. So after five months of renovation, we have finally completed Justin's house. It's 1,570 square feet, four room condo. He hacked into two. It's a modern contemporary design and it's done by Wilson from r and and cost 150k without fittings. I saw what you did for Vernon's house. Ah, yeah, it was right. so well done. Right. I bought this house right. just because I was jealous. Oh, so really? that you can help me do this house. Oh, goddamn. The last time I did Vernon's house shortly after that, I got cancelled. So <laughs> hopefully you don't bring the same class. Like it's Vernon's fault. I'm different. I got, ah, I got Zhao Tai. Ah, I like it. Okay. So before we go in, we're going to show you how it looked like before. Okay, right at the entrance, we have this Kadas lock that have just unlocked himself. <laughs> because it's a face recognition. So oh. the moment it saw my face, it just unlocked already. This is actually one of the coolest locks I've ever seen because it's got doorbell, face recognition, number print, fingerprint, any print. All thanks to Undigital Lock. I've actually yeah. been going to them for years. So right. they did an amazing job with this. Yeah. Oh, it opened again. See, I didn't touch it's, it. It's so sensitive. I didn't touch it. This is not scripted. This is just happening here. <laughs> All right, welcome in, guys. This is my uh, little uh, entry walkway. Mm -hmm. Today, there'll be a theme. The theme of how uh, I'm a bit of a copycat. I have watched right. every reno video you've done. Oh. Okay. So I, I took inspiration from here, from here, from here, from here. So right. what you see here at the start, this was actually inspired by your old house. I know. My yeah. old house. The house you just moved out of when I <laughs> yeah, saw yeah. your reno video all those years yeah. ago. I'm like, it's so clever, like you can have yeah. a place to sit down and wear shoe. Yeah, yeah. You know, so this was the first thing that we told our ID said R and R, we gotta have this little mm. thing. Right. And I have a lot of shoes. Uh -huh. Your shoes all look very fancy and expensive, <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah. You're a collector. La. I wouldn't say I'm a collector in the sense that I'm not the type that puts it in boxes. Right, 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 you know, right. some collectors, they buy the shoe and then they put it and they don't wear it. Right, 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 I don't right. believe in that. I believe in wearing the shoe. La. Right. Yeah, so in a sense that even if it's an expensive shoe, uh -huh. after six months, you'll be dirty. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. So what was that? That, that was... <laughs> That's actually a sensor. So the lights actually turn on when you open the door. Uh -huh. I have this uh, sensor from Home right. Genius. Right. Now that we have opened the door for a while, it just turned off by itself. Right. So you can just return it on. Okay, okay, okay. And of course, a little ledge to put stuff when you come back in, your keys and whatever. You got this uh, beautiful wood ledge. Yeah. This one was an interesting story. We wanted a little mirror here, but I couldn't find a nice enough mirror. So I ended up settling for a toilet mirror. So this was an entranceway we thought we wanted. And when we looked at the 3D drawing, this is exactly how it turned out, wow. uh, including the colour because uh, we managed to find this colour to start off the grey theme of the house. Mm. This is a uh, wallpaper from Warhub. Warhub are pretty amazing because when I went to their showroom, their show is gorgeous. Oh, not only is it gorgeous, right? And I asked them, hey, show me some colours. They have like 30,000 yeah, colours. Yeah. You can literally sit there for days and you can't decide on the colour. Right. But we found this beautiful wallpaper right. and it was done within like an hour. Wow, so fast. Moving on oh. into the living room. This living room is something I could have only dreamed of. We did know that we were getting a unit with high ceiling. This and very high ceiling. It's a very... Like 4 or 5 meters? 4.7 meters. You know when you go to a condo showroom, they don't show you the high yeah, ceiling. Yeah, you see the numbers but Correct. you don't get the feel. So when we came in like, whoa! <laughs> so we had a lot of options. You know, we thought, do we keep this? Do we put, do a loft? Right, right, right. You know, but after assessing the options, we're like, you know what, let's just enjoy the openness. Mm. In fact, a lot of friends, guests, they come to my house like, hey, how do we get to the second floor? Wow, oh, they uh, thought there no, is no, no, a second no. floor. Right, <laughs> there right, is right. no second floor. Right, right, right. Something we really wanted was to showcase the high ceiling and we thought this pendant light would do it. We spent months looking for the perfect pendant light because mm. I, as I'm sure as you know, right, you buy one that's too big, mm. it looks really gaudy. Yes, you yes. buy one that's too small for yeah. such a high ceiling, it looks very cuckoo. So we chanced upon this at a random showroom in Ballastia. I love it's, what the shadow that it casts. It's so yeah. unique. So when we bought this, um, I actually asked them like, where is this from? And all they say, oh, this is the only one in Singapore. Right. And this was the display piece. Right. So, but okay, not only one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> unique la. Now you know nobody good at it. Yeah, so this is like probably the most unique piece right. in this house. Chance it's, a, it's a chance upon thing. Yeah, and I yeah. think the best 
things you find sometimes when it comes to right. a reno is things you chance upon. Uh, actually, a lot in life also. Oh, true. My wife, mm. la, girlfriend, oh. la. Yeah, must chance upon it. He, he said or not, I said or not. So at the living room, right, there's a bar area. Mm. I love this space and the irony of this entire bar is that I don't drink. This is purely for, de <laughs> for decoration. So your shoes you wear, this one you just yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. My wife, uh, she enjoys a drink once in a while. Of course, yeah. friends come over. So, you know, we do serve them drinks, but I personally don't drink. This one, we really have to give the credit to Rest and Relax. They designed this area. Oh. Every single thing from the flute, to the I LED, like this, I think this is so yeah, nice. This is so sleek. It's so unique. Yeah. I told them that I want a big fridge. Right. Big guy big must have fridge. big fridge. Right. It has to be big enough so I can hide inside. <laughs> you know, so I had chosen this fridge from LG and they literally created the space just nice as you can see to right. fit the fridge in. So this bar was, was just really well done. Yeah. And I want to be near, I always want to be near my ice dispenser. Ah, yeah. that's a, I heard that that's your childhood dream, right? <laughs> I have very simple dreams. Right. And one of them has always been the fridge that dispenses ice. Right. I know it's not new. Oh. I've just never had one before. So even though I can dispense cold water here, I still put ice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we'll move on to the living room. Okay, so welcome to my living room. Yes. This is actually where I spend most of the time. Right. As most people do, right? I watch TV, play game. Yeah, uh, exactly, exactly. Uh, Everything about this space had to be perfect. You know, this was the one we spent the most time configuring and you know, what should we do here? What color should we do there? I want to start with the wall. I really want to show you the wall. Okay. All the walls in the house actually painted by Wall Hub mm -hmm. with their Terra textured paint. Right. Yeah. So it's like a lime wash, but you've got this beautiful effect. And even though it looks rough, yeah. it's actually a matte finish. Oh. So we chose this color called toasted oat and we let it flow through the entire house all the way into the bedroom. Oh. So they brought scaffolds wow. just so that they could paint every inch. And from what I understand, right, this one requires a lot of skill to do it. Right? Oh, it's yeah. not just having the product. So when they came, uh, they don't call them painters. No? Right. They're artists. Ooh. The artists came to paint the walls. I'm like, awesome. mind blown. Yeah, it's not just a normal painter. No, it's, they're right, not right, just right. painters, right? right, they're, right. they're artists. And when you right. see them uh, do their work, right, right. They, they scrape straight away. Like, yeah. It's amazing. Then with this 4.6 meter uh, ceiling height, right, means you will need a 4.6 meter <laughs> curtain. This is what to me is very impressive. So from what I understand, this is a curtain for curtain mice, yeah. right? We were very lucky to find curtain mice because they managed to do these beautiful day curtains mm -hmm. at this height. It flows so beautifully. Yeah. I went to their showroom, chose this particular color. Again, you know, suiting the entire look. Actually, they've also done this so that it's motorized as well. So it's also connected to your smart system where you're doing yes. Wow. I know your next question right. is uh, cleaning. Yeah. Don't ask me that. Right. We will cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, never mind. We don't care about that first. <laughs> Moving on to this unique TV oh. feature wall. So right. we've got an entire full piece feature. This was again something that was designed by Rest and Relax. Right. With such a high ceiling, they wanted to give this grand look to everything. Oh. So to complete the look, we actually chose this uh, dark ash walnut laminate from Arova. I mean, just look at the grandness of it. The carpentry is so precise, right? That the gaps are so uniform. Of course, it involves, you know, measuring the TV beforehand, yeah. but it was cut absolutely beautifully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And because it's recessed, all the wires go into the back and you don't see any of it. Yeah. yeah. Very clean. And then let's talk about your furniture from oh. Homes to Life, right? Oh yeah. This is the same as uh, Vernon's house. That's also. right. So when I went to Vernon's house, he told me like, wow, I, I just got my dream so far. Oh. Like, so far, so far, la. you know, what dream so far. So exactly. Right. Right. Have a seat, have a seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah just have a seat. Every time I recline, I fall asleep. Oh, it's God. crazy. Like every day I come back, I recline a bit, I watch TV. Within five minutes, I'm asleep. You finish. Get yeah, up. that's how comfortable this sofa is. It is insane. This is called the Santa sofa, by the way. It's a 2.5 seater. Right. So we can actually have someone Nobody's else here, a little doggy here yeah, as well. Yeah, right. And if you open up the side there, there's actually oh, storage as well. There's cup holders and yeah. there's like storage. Yeah. Wow. There's even a USB here to charge phone. You can live on this sofa for hours and not get yeah. By the way, this is not the only place I fall asleep. Mm -hmm. I'll show you another one later. Okay. But I also want to show you this coffee table. Right. It's also from Homes to Life. They don't just do sofas. Yeah. They do coffee tables. In fact, they do lots of other things as well. Right. Um, and I thought this coffee table just went perfectly with the aesthetic. I like how it's recessed, so things won't just exactly, there, exactly. Right? So no matter what, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah things are good. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it was. It just fit perfectly to this space. So very, very happy with this coffee table as well. Okay, now let's head to the balcony. Woo!
Before we head to the balcony, we have this table, very mm. similar to my entrance table, but you put behind the sofa. One of the things that, uh, as you would imagine, is important to me is sound. Right? Of course. It's sound, yeah. Of so course. when 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 I watch TV, I need surround sound. Right, right. That's, that's something I've always wanted as well, right. because I don't really have space to mount speakers yeah, because yeah. of the high ceiling. It's too high. So the only way was to put a table here, but also because when you put a table here, it kind of hides the back of the sofa, because most ah. sofas are meant to uh, back up on a wall. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. so it actually hides the back of the sofa a little bit. Uh, you don't get to see too many lines or wires. Right. Strategically, it works. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. Heading over to the balcony. Right. So this place that I got came with a massive balcony. This Again, massive. we didn't realize how massive it was until we actually collected the keys and right. like, wow, it's a bit bigger. So we decided to move the dining area here so that we can, you know, have a big table if we have friends coming over. I did have one complaint though about the balcony was that the flooring wasn't very nice. Right. What yeah. the condo came with. And also, because of what we were doing inside, yeah. uh, it wasn't level. Ah, so we so decided no similar feeling. Yeah, right. so we decided to do decking for the balcony. So um, I chose Evo Rich mm. and their Evo Deck. It's got this really realistic wood feel to it. Right, right, right. And I like the bigger slats as well. It feels a bit like resort yeah. like Yeah. Malini's resort like that. Yeah, right? oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So when I was looking for a wooden table, yeah. as I always, I, everything I needed, I just texted this ah. guru, right? Yeah. And he's like, bro, don't even look anywhere look else. Look no further. Gray and Sanders, the, the, you know, they, they have what you need. And when yeah. I went there, I was like, wow, which one do you choose? Yeah. You know, because yeah. all their woods are so, so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. So, but so all beautiful. also one of a kind. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know. So yeah. remember how I told you that I randomly fall asleep in places? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, here also? No, 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 not here. Okay. Just behind me. Ah. Yeah, so this is also from Homes to Life. Right. Homes to Life have these magic furniture, right? right. The moment you sit on it, you'll fall asleep. <laughs> so this is actually called their dolphin chair. Have a seat on it. Oh, it swivels. It swivels. It wow. swivels and it reclines. Their furniture is just so comfortable and it promotes sleeping. Right, right, right. It kills insomnia. It kills insomnia. Right. Super cute, super unique, and we thought it really adds some really cool charm to the balcony. And also to complete the look, I've also got a mini side table here. Right, this is like the mini version of that. La. Yeah, you know, honey, I shrunk the kids, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, took, a, like... they took a dropper, they put that, it became this. Yeah. yeah, so we love this idea that right. things flow, so this feels like a smaller right. version of that. Uh, when you say honey, I shrunk the kids, right? I think only people are age. I'm sorry. <laughs> nobody, nobody. <laughs> I just realized you're Honey is the who? Nice movie. I'm, I'm DB. I'm DB. You, 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 you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's head to the <laughs> study room. Okay, before I take you to the study, mm. uh, I just want to point out a couple of things here. First of all, this beautiful whole set of cabinets here uh -huh. uh, has this great laminate from Arova. Mm -hmm. This is the supreme light grey. It is scratch resistant. It is antibacterial and anti-fingerprint. Mm. So, especially for a cabinet, it's very useful because yeah. you're touching it all the yeah. time. It's got this great colour that again goes with the whole theme of the mm. house. Mm. I want to show you something else. Mm. This one, really credit to Rest and Relax mm -hmm. because I need to hide my automatic mahjong table. If you have a regular regular mahjong table, mm. it's still easier to hide because right. it's very thin. Yeah. But automatic mahjong table oh, one is, is oh, so one. fat. So yeah. first of all, and this can be a kang tao for anybody who doesn't mm -hmm. know, I found Singapore's thinnest automatic oh, mahjong there table. there is such a thing. We needed an area to hide it, so that was a bit of a challenge, but amazingly, it was done. Oh! And if you look over here, the cupboard closes with 0.1 cm right, right. of clearance. It's so, so precise. It's huh? so precise. Right. This was an amazing job that they did to hide my skinny, automatic mahjong table. They've also come up with a little area to display stuff with an LED light so it looks very, very elegant. So we decided to put different things of different eras. We thought it'd be quite funny to have a very old telephone and then a modem. Right. Yeah, just to showcase the juxtaposition. Oh. And then we have a mirror here with a very nice screen which I'll tell you later what this means. Yeah, okay, but uh, you say all this, where is the study room? Oh, ah. let me show you. Ah, I'm going to pretend that I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Okay, let's go. It's like Hogwarts because it's a hidden room. Yeah, wow, this one uh, to me, right, is my cream lata cream PR sleeve resistant cool degra place. It looks so different from the rest of the house. Yeah, so this mm. is actually my wife's study room. Mm. She wanted a completely different look from the rest of the house. Mm. So even the floor, we wanted two different styles. Right. I got these floors from Evil Rich. Again, another thing that I texted Guru about. Yeah. And Guru is like, if you want vinyl floors, yeah. Evil Rich. Look no further. Just mm. go no for further. the best of Yeah. So I always see in your videos you got these beautiful wood vinyls. Yeah. So that's what 
we have for most of the house. But inside here, this is their gigantic stone series. It looks a little bit like marble, yeah. natural stone texture, and it just flows so nicely from one room to another. Yeah, this is a good alternative for those people that do not want a wood type of vinyl. Yeah. You got the stone series as well. I really like what she done with this space. These are all her things, is it? Oh yeah, these are things she's bought over the years. Uh -huh. When she wanted to design this room, right? Something she fell in love with was pack boards. Ah, okay, okay. So we actually got this pack board customized and you've got all these packs with, you know, unlimited possibilities. Right. You can just keep re-customizing yeah, these. Yeah, yeah. Right? And it really completed the look of this room. Right. So um, this entire area is her workspace. Uh -huh. My wife likes to stand to work. Why? I cannot understand that, but that's Why? Her, that's her thing. <laughs> yeah. So instead of going for the regular standing desk that can right. move up and down, she thought, you know, let's just stand up, just stand up. <laughs> build a desk. We got a printer yeah, recess in here. Yeah, it's a fully equipped office. Eh? Yeah. Even, even, can I show you this? Uh -huh. To complete the cafe vibe, mm -hmm. she's got a sink. Oh, wow. So this thing opens into oh. a fully functional sink. Oh. Nowadays, you see a lot on the internet, the yeah. Starbucks cup washer. Yeah, it's got, oh, got this yeah, here as well. Right, yeah. right. So yeah, it's a fully functioning sink if she needs to do anything here. Right, right. Where we're standing now, used to be a toilet. Oh, That's oh, why we have coming here. There's a water. Yeah, water so line. this was actually the an old junior master right. yeah, with a toilet, but there's too many toilets in this house for two people. Right. So we decided to convert the entire thing into a single room. Right. Yeah. Let's talk about the walls again, okay. right? Terra, textured paint from Warhub. Mm. But as you can see, it's a different color from outside. This one, right. the texture is really yeah. subtle. You have to look very close, it's, but it's what we wanted. Yeah, we yeah. didn't want just plain white walls. Right. This subtle look is so yeah. beautiful. A bit more character. Yeah. Like. And then we got these fluted walls that I got from Voila. Before I did a reno, I thought fluted wall only got one kind, oh, which is just the regular yeah, slats, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, but yeah. Voila have so many different kinds of fluted walls and panels. Yeah. Variety you never knew existed mm -hmm. until you actually go and visit them. Right. So this is one kind of it, it's called the white oak. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, more for walls and for decor. Mm -hmm. And then if you look up, this is also Voila. Mm -hmm. Voila fluted panel ceiling, yeah. if you yeah. call it. This is off-white color, which really gives it a cafe feel. Right. Yeah. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's no. a very, very thin profile. Again, to give that, that cafe feel are these beautiful tiles that we made the table out of. These are from White Horse Ceramics. Ah. In fact, uh, I sometimes I touch them too much. Right. My wife's like, hey, you hand that tea. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We kind of knew these were the tiles we wanted. I was so glad that White Horse had just the correct color and size that mm -hmm. we needed. Yeah. So on the another side of the room, we got this little cozy area, this very bright red sofa. My wife, her team comes here right. and they all work from home together. Right. They uh -huh. have meetings, discussions, Zoom calls, after work drinks. It's, it's just a all-in-one room. Yeah. And it surprisingly can be such a productive office with so many sittings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've even got a little bar right, counter right. if necessary. And can I show you the blinds? This one curtain mice again, uh, really beautiful. Remote control. Oh. So at any time you can make it brighter or you can bring the whole thing down. And how the light comes in, right? Yeah. Looks different. Yeah. Uh, hit the floor, hit the ceiling. Yeah, so it yeah. depends on time of day, your yeah. mood and all that. Right. So uh, Curtain Mice did a, a fantastic job. They got this really nice dark grey slat colours yeah. uh, that they came, they installed this, they showed me how to use this. It was just brilliantly done. So yeah, um, let's not spend too much time here because uh, she was going to... Okay, let's later. go to the kitchen. This is also a space that I'm unfamiliar with because right. obviously I don't cook. Right. Yeah, I only eat. It's too clean of a kitchen. It's too, yeah, it's it's too, too clean, clean of a kitchen. The first thing you notice about the kitchen is the flooring is different. Right. Because in the kitchen, you shouldn't do vinyl because it's dirtier. There's smoke, there's oil, oil. there's heat, there's water. So yeah. we opted for tiles instead. Yeah. And we got these really nice large tiles from White House Ceramics. Mm. Uh, as always with uh, all the tiles in the house. So this kitchen, in fact, where you're standing at right now was an entire wall. Why? Why? Why does it have a wall? I don't know. It just didn't make sense. So the first thing that we told R and R was take the whole damn wall down. Right. Thankfully, you know, we did got the approvals and all that. Now with the wall down, all of a sudden, there's a lot so much light. light. Right. When the sun gets too bright though, I've got these roller blinds from right. curtain mice. Yeah, right, curtain right. mice are just so amazing with the options you have for curtains and blinds. Again, an automated blind. Uh -huh. If it's too bright, no issue. Okay, so moving on to this area, I got a lot of stuff from Regal. Mm -hmm. And when people think Regal, they think toilet. Toilet, right? Yes. But they also do kitchen. Right. Yeah. Anything to do with plumbing. Oh. And we bought this beautiful sink and we had to, you know, cut this into stone just nice right. to fit the sink in. It's just a sink that does everything. Right. It's, it's large, it's got this little area, you've got this whole thing yeah. where you can yeah, wash. And it's in a gunmetal finishing which oh. complements the entire house very well. So remember I talked about copying you? Mm. Uh, me and my wife watched your original house yeah, tour. Yeah. There was one particular feature that she immediately pointed to the TV. It's like, I want that! It was your tissue dispenser. Ah, no! Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 
it. So we did a kitchen towel dispenser instead, but also with a full roll built in. Ah, ah, so. After about two, three weeks, I've forgotten that exists. Oh, yeah. Easily, I move out, right? And I was playing, and I said, oh yes, oh, I have this. It. It's the one thing from your house tour we never forgot. Wow. And we kept reminding right. uh, the guys from r, r remember tissue holder, right, tissue right, holder, right, because right. we really wanted this. Right, right, right. Uh, because are you? Yeah, thank, yeah, you, so. thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and again, uh, every laminate you see here is from Arova. Right. It's the same colour as the one you yeah. see uh, outside. And again, anti-fingerprint. It's anti-fingerprint because in the kitchen, you right. are going to be putting right. a lot of fingerprints on this right. thing. This entire estate that I'm staying in, they only use gas canister. Oh! Yes. It's not the most ideal, but my wife decided that she wanted to cook with gas. Because right. then you get the whole wok hei la, uh, all that kind of thing. So, right, right. but as you can tell, we will be doing it soon. Always wanted and knew that we needed a robo vacuum. Right, right, right. I did a lot of research on which robo vacuum to get, mm -hmm. and in terms of great value and all the features, Airbot really tick all the boxes. This thing, it's got the mopping function, right. the vacuuming function, and what I love was how easy it was to uh. map the entire house. One cycle and the entire house was mapped. Uh. So it's so accurate with the mapping. Just press clean and the fuller just goes. Right. Yeah. In fact, it gets to a point where if it finds itself on a carpet, it stops the mopping function because you want to right. wet the carpet and it just vacuums only. Oh. And there's a handheld airbot to use as well. Right. Yeah. Anytime I need, I take it out. It's cordless, very light, very portable. Right. And it's even got a smart sucking function. That sounds like a weird thing yeah, to say. But when it detects more dust, it sucks harder. Oh, it sucks harder. It I sucks harder. Okay. Yes. I shouldn't be saying that so often. So uh, on days that I don't need Robert, I call this Robert. Right? Oh, Robert. In days that I don't need <laughs> Robert to work, I just right. take the handheld one right. and I'm good to go. So Airbot has saved me a lot of time right. in cleaning this house. Right. Okay, so let's move more into the yard. In fact, right. I think only I can move into oh, the yes, yard yes, because yes. it's uh, a little bit uh, squeezy over yes. here. Laundry, first of all, done on this beautiful LG wash tower. This is simply the most beautiful washer-dryer combo anybody can find. Sometimes the dryer can't handle everything. I've got a dryer rack from U Home, which Everybody loves this little function when you can go, Hi, you home? Yes, my master. Warm light on. Warm light on. Yeah, sorry, because uh, Ryan doesn't like white light, so must use warm light only. We had actually purpose built a space for it just to fit it in uh, to the ceiling. So in terms of space and height, it was just perfect for this particular model. You can even bring it down with your voice. Hi, you home? Yes, my master. Come down. down. And this is the fun part. I need to get it to stop before it hits my head. So I usually try to time it. Hi, you home? Yes, my Stop. Are you home? Stop now. So this particular model is called the Unique with uh, this amount of space for you to dry. Uh, there's a 40 kg drying load so you can put a lot of stuff here and it's actually got a lifetime motor warranty. So up and down, up and down, you can just never worry about that. So super simple and saves a lot of time. Okay, so this hidden door leads into the bedroom. But before we get to the bedroom, I wanted to show you this uh, really, really cool light feature that we found. Just fell in love with it the moment we saw it. And it's so cute, it really adds to this space. Um, if you look up over here, you actually see a motion sensor. This is from Homogeneous as part of the smart home feature. So every time we open the door and walk in here, this light comes on automatically. Okay, so let's move into the guest toilet. In this guest toilet, we actually didn't touch a lot of it. Uh, this was mostly what the place had come with. But the one thing that we wanted to do was change the fixtures. Something I really, really like about Regal is that they've got these sets of themes and colours. So for this particular toilet, because it's more of a lighter theme, we went with a chrome series. So the tap is chrome, the towel holder is chrome, and the shower is chrome as well. So that it actually has a theme all through this particular guest toilet. This uh, the guest toilet, nice and cozy, smells nice as well. Let's go into the bedroom. The bedroom is quite big. This is the master bedroom. In fact, there's only one bedroom in this house. It used to be two rooms, but we immediately decided to take down the wall so we can have a larger master bedroom. One of the things I wanted to have in the bedroom is not normal. It's a workstation where I can actually do my recordings. So I can even do a home broadcast for the radio. But there's something that's really, really cool. This laminate is also from Arova, but it's a little bit more unique. In fact, this is something that I've never seen before. It's a laminate that's magnetic. A lot of options 
you can have here for decor, you can put photos or anything as long as you've got a magnet. So this was very, very cool. Uh, this is something that our IDs uh, chose from Arova where you can actually have a magnetic laminate in any part of your house. The other thing I love about my bedroom is I've got this beautiful view of what's outside. So uh, these were originally the bedroom windows. They are floor to ceiling and it's just such an expansive view. I, I really, really love this particular view. But obviously at night, you know, we need to close the curtains. So we got these blackout night curtains from Curtain Mice. Once again, they did a fantastic job to do it motorized. So with the press of a button or it's synced with my homogeneous smart home as well with a voice command, close the curtains and it's pitch dark for a very nice night's sleep. Speaking of a nice night's sleep, let's go to the bed. Of course, with me being a larger guy, I do need a king bed. And I got it from Wusa. Wusa have these amazing storage beds. So this storage bed is pretty incredible because it's so easy to open. I did a lot of shopping around and I did not find another storage bed that was so easy to open with a pool. So there's a little string over here. You just pull it up, a slight tug, and actually the whole thing just opens up by itself. Anyone could do it. You don't need a lot of muscles to operate this storage bed. So, Really, really love this. For the bed itself, this is the Wusa Maisa mattress. It's got that hotel-like lushness and firmness. They do have different levels of firmness. When you go to their new showroom, I heard they got a new one recently for you to go and lie down. In fact, they encourage you to fall asleep at their showroom, which is incredible. And of course, it comes with the Wusa pillows as well. I used to actually sleep on two pillows because I needed the height, but this thing is so nice and bouncy and plush. So now all I need is one. And as you can see in the far wall over there, it is that beautiful terra textured paint from Warhub, which flowed from the living room all the way to the bedroom because we just loved it so much. Initially, we had wanted to put a painting or something over there, but we thought, you know what? The textured paint is so nice. We just want it to be as is. I want to show you these uh, bedside tables. These bedside tables are from Homes to Life. It's actually the same design as the coffee table outside. So these bedside tables are really, really good because they're wide. So you've got a lot of space to put your things and it's even got these recessed drawers as well. Really, really good drawers. They're soft closing as well. I told Ryan earlier that I copied a lot of things from previous uh, Renault videos. So I saw John's video. I've never seen anybody more passionate about dustbins than John. I decided to look for a similar dustbin to him, the one that just bags itself and all that. But mine's a little bit different because mine is actually an open top. And because of its shape, it actually stores a lot of rubbish before you need to bag up. Press the button, it bags itself, and all you have to do is just take it to throw away, push it down, a new bag is dispensed. It's magic. We move this way now through the bedroom. Again, this used to be a wall which we knocked down. So this is effectively three bedrooms turn into one. First of all, this is a little area coming out of the master toilet and these beautiful fluted panels from Voila. Voila, we mentioned just now, have these many, many varieties of fluted panels. We have this beautiful arch here with lights built in, LED, mirror. This was such a beautiful design and it's all thanks to Voila. Let's go into the wardrobe area here. So this is something that we told Rest and Relax that I need a lot of wardrobe space because um, I'm not ashamed to say that I buy a lot of clothes. I have a lot lot of t-shirts as you might be able to see. This was one single bedroom. When we first collected the keys, we turned into uh, a walk-in wardrobe. This was all carpentry done by Rest and Relax. We decided to do glass doors so we can actually see through what's inside. And we had put LEDs into every single panel. So a lot of my friends have said that this is a dream of them to have. So I'm just really, really happy that I have a lot of space to store my clothes. Unfortunately, I'm already running out of space to store more clothes, but we will figure out that problem eventually. This is a little vanity area of ours. It's actually built onto the back of the feature wall, so we can actually have our little uh, vanity stuff all hidden here. So it comes out really nicely. And we go into the master toilet. So as you can see, the color scheme of the master toilet is different from the guest toilet. It's a bit darker. We wanted that hotel feel uh, with the tiles and everything. And so with the fixtures at Regal, we decided to go with a gunmetal scheme. So first of all, this tap, which is gunmetal, is very nice. We got a little bidet spray here, which is also in gunmetal. And the shower, this shower system from Regal. It's a three-way shower system. You've got your shower, you've got your rain shower, and you've got a spout as well. In fact, it's got a preset temperature system to make sure that your temperature is always constant. So it's always a nice hot shower uh, with Regal. So loved it. We loved all the stuff we got from Regal. In fact, one of my favorite things that I got from Regal is the toilet bowl. I went to Regal and I said, show me your biggest toilet bowl. And they pointed to this one. I'm like, okay, I'm sold. Not only is it big, 
and large and comfortable, but it's got this Whirlpool flush, which is so great because it doesn't splash water out when it flushes. One more incredible find is this little towel heater over here. After a while, all the towels smell, right? Because it doesn't dry properly. But this is a gadget where you hang your towels and you can heat your towels. You can even put on a UV to sanitize the towels. You do need some space in the toilet though, so we just had this right amount of space to install this into the wall. Uh, this was another great find that we had, which uh, I wanted to share with you. All right, so that does it for the bedroom. In fact, I didn't allow Ryan into the bedroom because I know what he does in other people's bedrooms. In fact, where is this Ryan for the How was the whole experience and will you want to share some tips for the audience? I really have to start by saying thank you. <laughs> to you. Nearly two years ago, when I first bought this place, it wasn't complete. Yeah. So I came to you already and said, hey, you did the Vernon's, <laughs> Vernon's place, right? Like, help me now. <laughs> Without hesitation, he's like, I'll do it for you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was such a, a learning journey. Mm -hmm. I learned about renovation, about colours, about design, about vendors, about... There's so much to learn. Oh! Yeah, so so, and learn. I feel you have to be patient, mm. you know, because a three-month reno can grow into four months, yes. can, can grow into five months, yes. uh, just like mine did as well. And, you know, delays you cannot foresee. Yeah, there's so right. many moving parts, so many yeah. people involved in a project. Maybe you want to tell us more about the smart features of the house? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We haven't spoken about that really. Yeah. So that was one of my first prerequisites. Mm. Mm. that I must have a smart home. Whoever I get to do my smart home, mm -hmm. the one thing they must do is integrate Siri. Wow. Oh. Because I use Apple everything. A lot of devices don't really work with Apple's home kit. Thanks to you, mm. <laughs> I found Home Genius. Right. Home Genius have a back-end way of integrating virtually anything with Apple and with Siri. So, hey Siri, turn off pantry. Damn, Siri leh! And I didn't even talk to my phone. Right. Because I have a home port there. Ah. It's so simple. Just magical, yeah? Magic, magic. magic, magic. So, uh, Home Genius have quite a few ways for you to control your smart features. I was their first customer to get this tablet that I can recess into my wall mm -hmm. called Smarter Switch Max. It's a tablet that the engineers drew my floor plan onto the tablet. So with the floor plan, right, when you click on a room, mm. it turns off all the lights in that particular room, right. on or off. But if you want to go into a room, you can press and hold that room and boom, you get an entire new screen that shows you all the lights, all the fans, all the aircons, all like, the oh. curtains that you can just tap on this screen. And when the tablet is not in use, it just shows the time. It's super sleek. Mm. And I've actually recessed it into a, a mirror mm. so that it just looks so nice. Mm. Uh, unlike some other smart home providers as well, it's not a subscription-based service. Right. So you don't have to keep paying for the smart home features right. to continue working. Right, right, right. Yeah. Every single switch in the house is also by Home Genius. Mm. They've got this thing called the Sense Switch. Mm -hmm. When you go close to the switch, an orange light lights up on the switch mm -hmm. so you know where the switches are. Oh, wow. Oh, it's such a thoughtful design. And they design it themselves. Right, right, you know, right. so if you need a smart home solution you want to integrate, I think Home Genius have done an amazing job. One last tip is when you're done with a reno, mm. wow. It's the dirtiest place you've ever seen. Right? Don't try to clean it yourself. <laughs> Post Renault dirt is insane. It's like dirt is hiding in dirt. Yeah. So you actually must get a Post Renault cleaning service. Right. I chose the guys at Scrub Masters. I hear the name, I know they're good. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't believe it, right? I opened my door, right. four people showed up. They had their own cleaning equipment, they had their own ladders, yeah. and they scrubbed every bit, every groove. Even parts where I didn't know need to be cleaned right. before they came. I don't even want to step on the floor. Right. After they came, I could lie down on the floor. Oh, wow. That's how clean right. they made it. So, uh, amazing job from Scrub Masters. And of course, uh, a big thanks to the team over at Rest and Relax. Wilson and his team who have done this incredible renovation project. I think the thing that really impressed me about them is the design. Right. Yeah, we, we mostly stuck to it. Mm. You know, a couple of changes here and there, but this is what was and vision right, uh, right. in that design. So one thing that Rest and Relax just introduced this year is their super app. Correct. Yeah. I heard about it. It's an app that has your 3D design mm. in it. Every single laminate color, carpentry, tile color, mm. uh, all in the app. So it's an easy reference mm -hmm. uh, for customers. Uh, your ID will actually uh, put in all the updates mm. of uh, the renovation in there. So even if you don't visit the site every single day, you can still see it. Mm. Uh, and you can even report 
any uh, defects mm. after your Reno right. into this app and they can actually come and resolve it quickly. Right. So you don't have to scared that if your ID already resigned, already move on to a new company, ah. they can still help you resolve your yeah. defects and things that need to be repaired. I believe Wilson loves uh, this uh, particular fact mm. is that his number is on the website. Ah. So anything, call him. Wow. Yeah. He's so transparent. And Wilson is the boss of He's the Hada. boss, exactly, right? You already straight go to the boss again. Yeah. So not happy, call him. Yes. And lifetime warranty. Mm. So on the carpentry, on the hinges, hinges yeah. your drawers, your closing mechanisms mm. and all that. That's as much assurance a homeowner can get from a yeah. ID company. Really. And with that, we have done this promo deck and put it in the description box below. It has all the things that is in Justin's house. There's every info inside this document. So be sure to check that out if you're curious about where he buy the dustbin, for example, or where he get his curtains. Everything will be inside, okay? As usual, remember to follow all our socials. Follow Justin on his social Remember to click here for more, click here to what and cut to the bloopers. So over on the another side of the room. Yeah. So this have, is you can't hide it. You wanna go? <laughs> no, 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 we transit over there. Sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs>